I think one of the best ways to improve our skill sets is by paying attention to the direction of the craft. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the new and innovative tools that are making waves in the filmmaking and digital production industry. But before we do that, let me give you some context as to how I started off working as a digital artist. In 2019, I was in college majoring in cybersecurity. Before class, I would watch videos from people like Casey Neistat, Justin Escalona, and Sam Colder. Keep in mind, this was a time where vlog content on YouTube was king. It amazed me what people could create and the stories they could tell with just a camera. So I bought one. One thing led to another, and I ended up filming music videos for small amounts of money to start. Through that, I also started uploading editing tutorials on YouTube, which eventually turned into me dropping out of college and doing that full time as my career. After that, I started learning about 3D and then augmented reality, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, coding, etc. The point is one thing led to the next. The unique thing about the visual art space is the ability to branch off into so many different mediums while at the same time being able to apply core values from one skill set to the next. For example, the way I learned to make a shot look cinematic with a camera, things like lighting, focal distance, framing, are the exact same processes when it comes to making a shot look cinematic in a 3D software. And speaking of 3D softwares, here's a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Autodesk Maya. Maya is the industry standard 3D software in Hollywood. It's been used on films like Into the Spider-Verse, Avengers Infinity War, and much, much more. If you're looking to bring believable characters to life, model 3D objects and scenes, or create realistic effect simulations, I highly recommend you check out Maya. It is a paid software, but financing is available, plus there's no charge for college students when using a .edu email. I enjoyed testing out Maya by adding in some materials to this mecha model here and playing around with the lighting. It's pretty awesome as a hobbyist to be able to mess around with the tool set that was used to create some of my favorite movies or animations of all time. I even was checking out some Maya VR videos. The stuff that you can do with a VR headset connected to a 3D software is insane and I think as time goes on we're gonna see a lot of fantastic 3D works created by individuals or small indie teams. So if you're interested in getting your hands on Maya or any of the other tools by Autodesk like CAD, 3ds Max, etc. Click the link at the top of my description to learn more. That's why I like to look at different softwares as simply tools to create what you envision and not entirely different schools of thought. So with with that way of thinking in mind, here's what I think about the future of digital art. I think there are two things that are particularly game changing. The first is 3D and the second is AI. 3D isn't exactly a new thing, but the ceiling for what you can create with it is rapidly rising by the day. Take the show Love Death Robots on Netflix. It's an amazing series where every episode is a different animated short. There are many scenes in the show where I honestly can't tell the difference between CG and real life. You also have shows like The Mandalorian using LED sets powered by real-time render engines completely changing the green screen meta of Hollywood. In the new Spider-Man film, there's entire CG environments because frankly, it's easier to do it that way now than it is to film and composite it. 3D is the future and the technology and possibilities that stem from it are impacting all of the industries I talked about before. Before the tech and the know-how wasn't in the hands of the everyday person on their home computer, but now it is. So if you're a filmmaker, an editor, a photographer, a 3D artist, or whatever, pay attention to what you can do with 3D because you may stumble across something that can help you tell your story or better communicate what you're trying to provide to your clients or even completely change your career. Now, as for AI and its effect on the industry, there's been a lot of discussion because a lot of the insane AI art creations lately have been going viral. In my opinion, AI is a tool like everything else. It helps us accomplish things faster, it speeds up our workflows, and allows us to create things without the normal issues we used to face. Generating art with AI is really fun. Even the thumbnail of this video was generated with AI. But in my opinion, an impressive image does nothing without context or the technical know-how to craft and change things to meet specific needs or tell a specific story. So let's branch away from that and look into the far future. I've seen a lot of excitement on the internet on the idea of a metaverse. I myself loving science fiction movies and one of them. With companies like Facebook changing into meta and doubling down on VR tech and the explosion of blockchain tech, I can see a world where a lot of these cyberpunk sci-fi ideas of what visual art will become can be a reality. But I do think we're still a long way away from that, and I don't think that people should buy into the hype of what they think is coming. So if there's anything to take away from this video, it's this. If you're interested in something, like I was with cameras and editing, I recommend you learn about it. If you see interest in some new tool, then go into learning that knowing you have an advantage from all of the lessons you learned in the past. And if you ever feel bored or uninspired, pay attention to the new ways people are using these tools and educate yourself on them. Because like I said, getting in early is always better than getting in late and it could lead you to life-changing opportunities. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below anything you'd like to see next. This was a bit different from my usual tutorial videos because sometimes things that are thought provoking can teach you more than, than just a step-by-step -step guide. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.